In this video, I'm going to be showing you why we've seen a significant shift in the meta from the uh, Washington playbook to the Colts playbook. I'm also going to be giving you a really, really good passing concept out of the tight slots in this uh, in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, we are working on some stuff on that on the Patreon. You can get, get all of my ebooks over there. Uh, we have bunch tight trips, U trips, spread, air raid. Uh, we just released a brand new tight wide off ebook. So if you want to get access to all of that stuff, also have a ton of stuff on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, you can join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. The link is in the description. But wanted to talk to you today a little bit about the tight slots halfback week and uh, why I think this is a pretty uh, a pretty solid little uh, formation. So what we're going to do here is we are going to uh, come out in the play uh, mesh spot. Now mesh spot I think gives us – actually, no, no, I'm going to talk about flood first. We're going to come out on flood. Um, so we'll talk about mesh spot another day. But flood, what makes flood so good is this corner route to Johnson – is a really good corner route, right? If I put CeeDee Lamb on a hot route of corner route, you're going to see it's a little bit deeper. Um, the other thing you have is you have this nice deep post to this outside receiver. And another thing that's really good about tight slots is you have the running back on one side of the field and the tight end on the other side of the field. So you have a really good blocking formula uh, within this formation as well. You can easily block your tight end, I'm pretty sure, in this formation. Uh, as you can see right here, I can block my tight end. I can block my running back. So there's a lot of value in that, uh, in that alone. But I did want to talk to you today about uh, this play flood. So uh, several different ways to run this play, all right? There's not, there's not one right or wrong answer here, but I really like to run it like this. What we're going to do is we're going to streak this left side receiver. We're going to put the running back on a, uh, a simple little out route. We're going to take the tight end. We're going to put him on a out route. These out routes to the tight end are really, really valuable. And then what I like to do is take CeeDee Lamb and put him on a backside in and motion him outside. I really like the spacing that this is going to create for your offense. And against man coverage, you've got a couple different options, but I really like how this tight end out route works against man coverage. Now, I've got inside shades all over the place, KOs, everything that you're going to see, um, you know, in somebody running the man coverage meta. And you're going to see that this formation in general does a really good job at attacking man to man. Um, another thing that's really good about this streak to Debo Samuel is if you have the short out elite ability on that player, what typically is going to happen for you is you're going to notice that he's going to light up and then you can basically kind of try to get him to the, to the left side if there's no safety help. If there is safety help, as you saw right there, it's a little harder. Um, you're going to have to rely a little bit on your free freeform skills. But I'll show you right here. If there's no safety help on this player, then this short out elite is going to just cook uh, man to man, as you see right there. And then you can just high point it uh, and you know get it up over the top. So you're going to have a chance, at least for a shot, over the top if they are going to go press man to man on you. And then you're also going to have some stuff against zone, as we'll show you that in just a second. But again, I really like how this formation specifically attacks man to man. If you want to leave this route that CD Lamb is on, you certainly can. This little kind of angled in route is actually pretty good. Um, you know, but again, the biggest, the big home run route is this route to Debo Samuel up and over the top against press man. So what this basically means, it's going to be hard for your opponent to play man against this formation. And it's, so they're going to start to go to some types of zone with this play right here. When you streak this guy, especially when he's on the short side of the field, what you're going to notice is that this is going to clear out zones really well. And you can easily just throw that corner out super consistently against cover three you can also throw that um you can also throw that against cover four so if you are play, playing somebody um who's running a baseline press kind of style of cover four you'll see right here that this guy is going to tend to be pretty open for you on the sideline so you have some really nice flooding combinations that you can use really against any zone um if it's cover two I will say cover two is probably going to defend this the best. What makes this route a little better, in my opinion, than like bench is that this corner route is going to kind of cut really sharp upfield and it's going to get over the top of clouds really easily. So they're going to basically have to double Mabel to take this away. If they do double Mabel uh, on this on this uh, concept here, then what you're going to want to do here is this is where this route to CD Lamb really comes in helpful. This is also why I think it's very valuable to take that tight end and put him on an out route because it's going to clear the zones out, and then you can kind of check down right here in the middle of the field if they are going to run some type of double flat 
uh, style of defense. Flood is just a really simple play, but it's really effective. Um, this route to CD Lamb, like I said, you can keep this, or if you don't want to have uh, that route, then you can get rid of it. So I'll show you how it works against man. It just is, is a little bit better uh, than like a standard like hot rub master post or a smart route of in is going to be those routes are still going to be good against man but that route right there i just really like the way that it cuts uh specifically against man you don't have to put the running back on an out route either you can leave him on this little flat you just want him to attack the flat that's the main thing we're trying to have happen here is we want the running back to attack the flat just like this right here and we want the spacing that comes with that out route and post route combo this makes tight slots, I think, one of the better formations in the game. Got great pass protection, got great routes. If you use motion wisely, you're going to have great spacing. So we're going to do some more material for you guys on tight slots. Um, but for all of my ebooks, make sure you join the Patreon. The link's going to be in the description. $10 gets you access to everything over there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head down to the Patreon and go check it out. And we'll see you guys next time.